Monsieur Set episode de Dapa Daniel to Paris, France and Bordeaux. All right, y'all. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of La Petite Fontaine. These things are compounds. Hold on, let me try to get a zoom in on it. Look at the size of this wine bottle. <laughs> we are now here to Disneyland. Vous venez dans la quatrième dimension. Oh, it's been an honor serving with you, Space Ranger. We've made it to the Eiffel Tower. We have a 12.30 check-in. Got it. Uh, donc ça du sens. And so it begins to Paris, France and Bordeaux. Well, Bordeaux first and then and then off to Paris. Okay, I start a timer from right now to the time we end up in a bed in Bordeaux. I'm putting it at, my guess, 33 hours and 34 minutes. What's your guess? Um, 25. 25 hours? No, there's no way. I'm, Maybe. I'm going with 25. Okay, 25. I'm taking the over. Oh, just making sure. Ha ha, wee wee, I got my boarding passy. All right, we got time to kill, so we're just gonna walk around most of the terminal, but also, Victoria's got the hookup on the uh, American, Express American Express Lounge. So we're gonna go lounge. Yeah, we're, uh, we're currently here at two o'clock, and then, Flight leaves at five. We land in Paris at nine a.m. And then from there we take a taxi to a train. And then from the train we go to Bordeaux. Do you know D terminal is the best terminal because it's got an Auntie Anne's? Just the heads up, whoever might be traveling through the uh, D terminal, they have an Italian kitchen. They got Mickey D's, Buffalo Wild Wings. And then they have some other eats. It's a brood. I didn't know it says brood on there. The Great American Cafe. We got a little spa. Maybe if La Occitan in Provence. Occitan. What is that? It's like a hand, luxurious hand cream. Enchante. Oh yes, time to lounge. Time to lounge. Merci beaucoup. Is this a puppers? Is that a puppers in a bag? Oh, it's a puppers. Oh, a quick little pre-game meal. Salads. No, no salads. Oh yes, potatoes and chicken. Just a quick American meal before we go to France. Two hours into the trip. Nailed down. First injury, already on the board. <laughs> What time are we looking like so far? Ooh, we're a solid 12 hours in. Oh yes, we have made it to the train station. All right, we're currently on hour 15. Airport, taxi, and now we're hopping on this train for another two hour ride, so hopefully soon. Oh, and note to self, don't come to Paris during March unless you wanna freeze to death. Arrived over in Bordeaux from the train. Currently 3 p.m., but it feels like 1 a.m. The Ford Cougar is the whip for the weekend. We come to France just to drive an American car. Yeah, just, just a little shack up there with its vineyard. My goodness. These things are compounds. Hold on, let me try to get a zoom in on it. All right, after planes, trains, and automobiles, we finally made it. What is our final time? 21 hours, my goodness. I was, I was a little bit off, but if you take the seven hour added time difference, that's like 28 hours, I was, I was pretty close. No. The first thing we're doing, the Lascaux Museum, checking out some of the prehistoric artwork. And 14 of these sites have been classified uh, world heritage. Here's some of the sketchings that they reproduced on the wall. We just took the tour through Lascaux. And now we're over in the uh, other museum part area, kind of walking around, checking out all this stuff. This is a fun start to the Paris trip. Checking out the prehistoric art. Definitely recommend. It is just like an hour and a half out of St. Emilion, which is where we're staying, which is like an hour outside of Bordeaux. They call this one the unicorn of it, all of its different features on it. I'm trying to find the my favorite drawing in here. I think it was this bull. Yeah, it was this one. This bull here. This is a 3D rendering 
of the cave. I wonder what the HOA would say if you planted one of these in the front yard. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of La Petite Fontaine is where we're staying at. So it's got three levels. The first level is the garage, but I wanted to do this right when we came in yesterday, but we were just so wiped out. So gonna do a little tour here and I can kind of tell you guys what the little quirks within this home are now that we've been in it for a night. So first thing, the parking in here, if you're gonna get an SUV, good luck gonna really, really need to be a small SUV, more like a hatch, really tight fit in here. They do have washers and dryers, and then that goes out to a courtyard area here. That's kind of really nothing, but um, they got the water heater, a little bit more storage space, and then front entry of the door. So a little tight, a little tight in this spot, and then it takes you up to the living room. And then here is the main living room. We have a table over here and then also three windows looking out to the street level. And they added this for us when we got here. They gave us a little map of St. Emilion. So this is where we're, the city that we're staying in. So just a little outside of Bordeaux. Flew into Paris, took a train to Bordeaux, and then about an hour drive to this little town. And we are, maybe I can find us on a map. Let's see. We are right around here. That's the street we are on. We're on this one right here. We're staying here. So a couple things to do within the city, but that's kind of what it looks like. And yeah, so far so good. He gave us some wine and then some macarons, which I probably won't eat because I'm not a fan of those, but I know Victoria and the rest of my family is. They do have a TV when I first came in. I didn't even realize this was a TV. They have it like, you know, hidden in and blended, but that is a TV in here. That is the only TV. None of the other rooms come with TV. I believe that's just like, you know, everywhere else thing besides America where like Americans just have TVs in every room. So that was just a little weird for me not having a TV in the room, but you know, look at me being entitled. For the furniture, they have this couch, they got two seats, and then it takes you right into the kitchen area. And then the kitchen area here, fridge, little oven. And here's the cooking area, sink, window looking out towards that middle courtyard area. All right, and here is the upstairs. So really tight. If you're gonna bring luggage, make sure the luggage isn't ginormous because it is gonna be a pain walking up this. I mean, their walls are just like dented with luggage scraping. So you get into the hallway. As I said before, it is gonna be a small one here, but that's just like the Paris vibe of everything. Here's the upstairs bathroom. So they have this walk-in, two shower heads, and then water just really gets everywhere. I don't know, maybe it's a French thing where they just don't have the door that closes it off, but water will be all over the place. So having to deal with that. Two sinks for both the bathrooms, and then they have these towel warmers that also act as heaters. Um, if you kind of keep the doors shut, we've been keeping the uh, things closed because they gave us space heaters because the heat is broken here. So here's the first bedroom that me and Victoria are staying in. And then here's the view from out here. Can I open this? I thought I could open this. Oh, there we go. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring out the shutters, guys. Hold on, let's do this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go, just a nice little push. All right, and here's what our view from the upstairs looks like. So not really much of view. There's better views on the other ones, but here's what this side looks like. And then there's like a little, I guess we could call it a courtyard down there, but not really. All right. And then across the hallway is the two other bedrooms. So all the bedrooms are on the upstairs. First bedroom here, no one's staying in. They have closet space on the left. It's kind of what that looks like. And then here's this view. outside and then let me show you the room my parents are staying in is this one and each room is painted a different color so blue purple pink and then the same type of closet space there isn't any closet space within our bedroom which is a little annoying but here's uh the uh look from this outside into the street level. So we're now on day three, guys. Figured we walk around the little town in here. Now I will say we're here in March. The only reason we're here in March is because we're here with family friends and those friends have kids that are on spring break during the March. I'll tell you guys right now, if you're thinking about coming to St. Emilion, do, but do it after like March 31st when the city actually like opens up and gets going more. Right now, currently, it's actually kind of weird. We really feel like we're the only ones like 
in this town besides like hearing church bells and seeing like the random car pass us i mean essentially this whole little town is on the off season none of the shops are really open um even during the days but right now it's currently like 6 30 so everything's really closed but um i figured we'd just like walk around show you guys just the city it keeps calling it a city but it's like a little village <laughs> well check out the town it's really, it's really a village so we'll see what we can find but basically just vineyards everywhere you can see all the vines kind of getting prepped up i want to try to get over to the church the church was built in like the eighth century there's some really cool things kind of hidden in like little pockets of this town some like really older structures I'll also try to show you guys some of the shops around here even though nothing's gonna be open here's a cool view of the city God, I did it again, to the town. The town being a little town. Or can we call it a city? Shoot. Here's a higher view over St. Emilion. The buildings here are just so old, it's crazy. You need to take like a little pressure washer to this. Take a pressure washer to everything. Oh, that's the other thing, guys. If you're coming to Paris, bring a scarf. I royally messed up on that part, not bringing a scarf, and my Mexicals have been cold this whole time. We're walking up on the St. Emilion church i love saying that word a million it's like a million emilia can canta canta wow so pretty what can we walk up this way Getting that cardio in. Oh yeah, let's see where this goes. Oh, this is a hill. We might have went the wrong way. Oh, look at the kitty. Victoria's been trying to pet a cat this whole time we've been here. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Want to scratches? Oh, check out this little restaurant. What do they have on the menu? Entrees. Escalope de foie gras de canard des landes polele. Basically hot duck. Yeah. It's gua. Fogwah, Fogwah. Oh, look at this. Look at the chairs here. Oh, oh, God. Gotta watch these rocks. Gotta be careful. Oh, geez. This is a workout. Okay. Okay. What is this? Bakery? Mole Rock. Just pronouncing everything wrong. Guys, I pronounce things wrong in English, so I'm definitely gonna be pronouncing things wrong in French. It was worth it. Oh, look at the size of this wine bottle. <laughs> We're trying to get a lit. Anyone can cook. We're trying to figure out the best view. Oh, look, more vineyards. I wonder if we can get really close. Let's see. Oh, oh it is. It says private property. Oh, oh. I don't know how to read French, so my bad. <laughs> oh, maybe this close. I mean, everything just really looks dead around here. <laughs> okay, this has got to be the best view. Oh, this is super cool. All right, what does this say? The terrace of the king. The terraces of the king's tower provide an amazing view of the upper town, framed by the bell tower of the monolithic church in the buttresses. Buttresses of the medieval keep. And then I don't even know how they got a crane in here. That doesn't even make sense to me. I don't even, like, dude, there is no room for it. All the cars around here are super small. I've yet to see a pickup truck. It's so weird driving around here because there's no trucks. All right. I would say this is probably the best view. Oh, look, more vineyards. And the toilets are interesting. Just a heads up, you gotta pay to play. So this is what traffic looks like in St. Emilion. Most cars I've seen on the street at one time. Guys, it really is just eerily quiet. But it is very tranquil, I will say that. It's very peaceful. It's very peaceful. Let's check these out. 
Any any wine drinkers watch my channel? I'm not really a wine drinker. Oh look, he's got the cellar down there. Boteles facetises. Oh, I'm just terrible at this, guys. I really should have done better on Duolingo. What does it say? What do you think? How do you bo bo? That's got to be bottles. Where do you see this? Right there. This sign that says bottles. Bo boteles factesis. Maybe that means. Botel factice. Maybe that means like those are fake bottles. All right, we finally made it to our hotel room now over in Paris. Here it is, we're at the Hotel d'Orsay. Just like steps away from the Eiffel Tower too. We'll be doing more stuff later on this week and into the weekend, but wanted to show you guys what the room looked like. A lot different than where we were just at. So this is more of the city living, apartment living. So bathroom. And then the shower area, very cozy, but a nice sink and then little tub. Gave us some robes. And then, let's see. And then our nice little room. And then what's this view from the street look like? How do I, how do I, I don't know how to, I don't know, I'm not gonna try to open that. But here is our view. Next adventure of the Paris trip, Disneyland Paris. How excited are you? So excited. She's just frozen, guys. Don't don't let her face is just frozen. Victoria is very excited. We made it into our first Disney Studio shop. I told Victoria to find a pair of ears. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> It's a little too early for this, but maybe later. Look at all the options they have. It's 9 a.m. How I start my mornings. This is their 30th, 30 years of magic over at the Disneyland Paris that they're celebrating. Yeah, we walked through this last time. I had a bunch of different stuff. That's where some food stuff is. Oh, I think we got them. Is that, do you want to do those? Yeah. Okay. He's been, he looks like he's been smoking a couple of his cigarettes. Uh, I don't know, he got a couple of wrinkles on his face. I think, I think you should do that one. Or you could do the Ahsoka. You could be like a full Ahsoka. That's hilarious. I mean, they don't look like Disney ears. They don't? No. Oh. We're entering into Avengers Campus. There's Tower of Terror, we'll get on that later. All right, first ride of the day, web slingers. Welcome to Web. I'm Sharon, the artificial intelligence that keeps this place running smoothly. The vibranium of Wakanda, or this fluid extraterrestre demon, we have particles of beam and Star Trek. It allows us to develop incredible things, like this little Spider-Man, for example. Look at this, it's super. They can even duplicate themselves. What do we gotta do? Uh, go Oh, oh, oh! Start uh slinging. -oh. Uh oh. I'm winning. I'm winning. Bro, I just wrecked you. Get wrecked. A hundred and ninety-eight thousand. Intelligence artificial du 
Maintenant, balance la source dans mes répulseurs. Vous ouvrez cette porte avec la clé de l'imagination. Au-delà, c'est une autre dimension. Une dimension sonore. Une dimension visuelle. Une dimension de l'esprit. Vous pénétrez dans le domaine de l'ombre et de la matière, des objets et des idées. Vous venez d'entrer dans la quatrième dimension. C'est Twilight Zone. Même rangé numéro 4, row number 4, please, on garde les sacs aussi. Mom's got the aisle. I'd rather die. All right, we just got off the tower, Tara. How, how, what are your thoughts? That was the worst experience of my life. Is that the worst one? That we lost a glove. Yeah. We somehow, somehow lost a glove. Literally the last thing the guy tells us is, hang on to all belongings. And uh, I guess Victoria didn't understand that. Oh yes, Ratatouille. You'll go on this one, right? Which one? Ratatouille. Oh yeah. It's easy. I'm watching you, Linguini. Oh, Gustav! Oh, yes, the French swagger. Hey, guys! The food is for them, not you! Guys, we're sticking to a budget right now. They will only be eating chicken nuggets for like the rest of the day. Everything else is so expensive. This water was actually $40. So we did Hollywood Studios first, rode over some rides over there. Which one was your favorite? Not, not Tower of Terror. Terror. <laughs> Definitely um, not. The, the... Spider-Man? No. Web Slinger? Yes. Fight Force? Fight Force. You liked Fight Force. Is it Fight Force? Flight Force. Flight Force. And now we're going into the Disneyland Park to go check out some more of the rides and other things around here. The first one we're going to try to do is the new, uh, or at least new for me. I've never been. We're going to try to do the new Star Wars Space Mountain and see what that's like. Because they don't have that over in like the Disney World, Disneyland area. So back in the States, they're celebrating the 50th year anniversary. Over in Paris, they're doing the 30th year anniversary. All right, we are going to the castle to get a nice photo because, I mean, that's what everyone else does here in Disney. And also, we found some ears for Victoria. These are the 30th anniversary ears, so she's happy. And uh, the weather's doing good so far. It's not too cold out today. So we got to find this perfect photo spot. We're getting a photo right in the middle. someone help us? Uh oh, I didn't think that went through. All right, I'm calling in. I think this is gonna be my favorite ride. Hyperspace Mountain Complete. That is our number one so far. What were your thoughts on Star Tours? No. If you get nauseous easily, do not go. No bueno? No. Zero out of ten. But I like the Star Wars. Two out of ten for R2D2. But I like the Star Wars. Unfortunately, the wildest ride in the wilderness is uh, closed today. All right, guys, we're doing a tour of the Phantom Manor today. This is going to be a five bed, four bath. What's up, Yasmin? Five thousand square feet. I do not know what he just said, but bonsoir. I wonder what her deal is. The puppers. <laughs> I just want some scratches. Oh, look at the puffers. Look at the puffers. Some scratches. Alright, so after riding multiple rides so far, we've come up with our top two favorites for roller coasters and normal rides. Number one roller coaster Hyperspace Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain. And then favorite chill ride so far. Is Pirates, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. However, we're about to ride Peter Pan's flight. I had to pull out the Grogu socks for today. You like my hot dog bun? 
actually it's, it's pretty good. I was, I was feeling a little homesick, so I had to had, had to get the American hot dog. Yeah, that checks out. However, the mustard, very French. Initial taste of the dog. Does that, does that remind you of America? No. Oh, it's been an honor serving with you, Space Ranger. Oh, uh, just, you're like, you're like a, what are you? You're a pilot. Aw. Just a little pilot. I am a, I'm a Ranger One. We've made it to the Eiffel Tower. We have a 12.30 check-in, so we're gonna go all the way up to the top, get some pictures, and then afterwards we're gonna be checking out the Louvre and uh, look at some art later on. So let's get in line. It is windy and cold, guys, and the drive over here, my goodness, Paris driving is just on another level. Well, we picked the perfect day for this. The all the way at the top is closed due to winds. Top is closed, unfortunate. Oh, we're finally out of the wind. We're going up. Ooh, this is a little sketchy. Cool. <laughs> This is from the second floor. It really is too bad we couldn't go to the top floor, but I'll take this view. This is all right, at least it's open today. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, we got the goods. All right, we got ourselves a map. We got a whole bunch of stuff to look at, so we're just gonna get around to as much as we can. Uh, maybe we'll see the Mona Lisa? I don't know. Let's just check it out. Hold on, let's check out this map. Come here. Let's look. All right. So we are, we're up there. We're like up yeah. there. Yeah, we're like there. Okay. The Egypt, Egyptian antiquities on Sully. Oh, so they're just behind us. Okay, we should be able to uh, find that pretty quick. I don't know. Get around to as much as we can. There's uh, there's actually too much to look at here. This is a cool map they have. It shows what gods were worshipped and what temples up along the Nile. Let me zoom out for you guys to show all this. We have located the Mona Lisa. I'm not gonna wait in line, but you hold that, hold that. I'm gonna try to zoom in on it. Let's see. It is right there. Got it. All right, guys, check out how big this painting is. I'm gonna slowly zoom out. My God, the painting's called The Wedding Feast at Cana. And we spotted a little puppers. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this cat, but this cat does not get scratches. So I came across a real estate place. Here's an example of a listing. 55 meters squared. Square Only meters. square meters. Oops, that's my bad. Only a million euro. But it's got a class C rating, whatever that means. We're headed to the mother of all roundabouts. I am so excited. 
Look at how big it is. All right, I'm good. Picture? I mean, people literally standing in the middle of the street to get that perfect photo. I didn't care about that, man. And for our last stop of the trip, had to do the Louis Vuitton store. I need to be selling a lot more houses to buy anything around here. I might be able to afford like a book. I don't know, how much is a book? No, no, that's 20, that's within budget. I could get a book. All right, 7 a.m., we're all packed up. That concludes the Paris trip. We gotta catch a flight now. We got a 10 hour flight back home. You wanna end up with me? Au revoir. Au revoir. Je t'aime. Je t'aime and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert Team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye. Yo, oh, yo, oh, oh, it's not for me.